I see you, man. Nice view of the harbor. And of course, talent galore. Chris Johnny Daly is bringing the vibe this morning as our DJ. Did you guys know he was a DJ? He's also a DJ. All right, so moving on now. The responsibility of raising a child is not for the faint hearted. And Jamaican born filmmaker Jason Foster has documented some of his own experience as a dad in a film to share with audiences all around the world. He's in Louisiana, New Orleans, to be precise. Good morning to you, Jason. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good to have you. Uh, is your son six now? Yes, he is six. Yes. Tell me yeah. about your. Tell me. Tell me what kind of father you are before we start to talk about your film and your career. What kind of dad are you? Uh, a goofy dad, uh, a loving dad, sometimes stern, a little too stern. But um, I'm working on that. Working on being a little more uh, soft with my touch. But yeah, the, the kids. I make the kids laugh. We have a good time. Yeah. Any parallels between how you were raised and how you are raising your son? Your dad was drafted by the LA Lakers in, in 1960. He broke his leg after falling for, from a horse, so his career ended even before it began, which is an interesting story of its set. That sounds like a film you need to make at another time, um, Jason. But tell me about the relationship with your dad and how that has informed how you're raising your own son. Well, he, he passed when I was 12, so a lot of the memories I have are... are great memories you know going to the park playing in the snow playing basketball so we didn't really get a chance to talk about anything related to fatherhood or parenthood or i didn't know that he got drafted by the lakers okay. until he passed so okay. my mom told me that story so yeah gotcha gotcha which is why perhaps this film is even more important eh? let's talk a little bit about that how did you get into film first of all and then we want to know why you decided you wanted to document this film about fatherhood. Uh, I got into film. I was born in 84. I'm an MTV kid, so I watched a lot of music videos. So watching that every day, all day, during, during summers really spurred my interest in the filmmaking. And um, Spike Lee, behind-the-scenes documentaries, just anything I could watch. You know, this was pre-Netflix pre-streaming so blockbuster was very very big in my life and um yeah from there how i got into filmmaking really seriously i think i, I primarily primarily do documentary films so i like to uplift and highlight black folks um as well as marginalized and um communities who might not have a, a platform to get their voice or, or word out. So really helping people is um, uh, the ethos behind my filmmaking. Okay. So talk to me about this project now that we're talking to you about this morning. Very interesting mm -hmm. approach. You've blended original footage. You've blended it with archival video. And you're telling us a story. What, what is the story you're telling us? Um, how have you told it? And what do you want to be the key takeaway for those of us who see it? Yeah, so the, it, it is, it's a mix of, like you said, archival, present-day footage, footage of my kids, of me playing basketball. Uh, the, it's really scratching the surface of a lot of the topics that I intend to uh, delve deeper into with a feature-length film. But this is really more of a, it's like a vibe movie, you know? Uh, it's it's almost what if I would have become a basketball player, like an NBA basketball player, and what does what does it mean for fatherhood to unconsciously repeat things that um, as a father, you know, as I was going through the footage, I noticed I was doing a lot of the same moves on the basketball court, and the same moves as your dad. And possibly as my dad, but just from elementary school to high ah, school to college. I so I'm, 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 you know, I'm blocking the shot the same way. I'm mm -hmm. getting the rebound just mm -hmm. like, like mm -hmm. that. So how does that translate to fatherhood? What, what am I doing that my father did that I, I'm not really aware of? So that, that was the impetus behind it, as well as my son is the second born. I have a, we have a daughter. She's eight, but, um, 
once he was born, you know, it was like, oh, okay, now I'm a father. No, I don't have my father to a son. Now, how do I really navigate those waters? And um, making this film was me trying to uh, answer some of those questions. Yeah, what I'm curious, did you, did you get any answers? Did you walk away with any answers to those questions? No, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. I have to sit with it. Uh, at the end of the film, I did talk to my mom and my mom and dad met in Jamaica. I, I, I lived in Jamaica until I was about five or six and I, I come back often. So, so I got to hear the story of how they met. So, uh, which I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. I guess I got some answers that way. You know, mm -hmm. you got to start from the beginning to, uh, to know, I guess, see where the journey ends. Mm -hmm. you know? And what do you mm -hmm. want us to take away from the, from the film when we watch it? What do you want us to come away with? You've come away with questions that you're still trying to answer. Um, what do you want us to be, um, to be walking away with as the key takeaways? Or do you just want us to figure it out for ourselves? Yeah, I mean, figure it out for yourselves. I, I like to make films where the audience has to uh, put the thinking cap on, so to speak, and not spoon feed people. But I, I would like for folks to maybe um, tell your loved ones that you love them, that you love mm. them, you know, try to, the ones that you hold dear, Oh, tell them. Jason, you don't even know what you just said. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very resonant message, especially now for, for our team, because we lost one of our own um, on Sunday of this week, and we kind of been walking around telling each other and that's the key message is to tell people that you love them so that they know before anything untimely um, should happen. Jason Foster, where do we see this film? Where, where, where can we have access to it? So it's premiering next week, uh, Sunday, June 26th at the Third Horizon Film Fest. That's a film fest based in Miami, Florida. Uh -huh. And uh, Third Horizon dot org dot com i'm really not sure but if you look up third horizon film fest it's a caribbean focused film fest so um filmmakers from all around the diaspora and the caribbean will be represented so fantastic you can see it there uh we plan for one day and hopefully it will be in other film fests hopefully i can bring it to jamaica all right great congratulations to you on this you're in new orleans now are you shooting or is that where you're based I'm based. I've been here since 2010. Okay, copy. All right, yeah. great. That, that's also a place that's very, very rich in culture. So I know you're thriving there. Jason, thank you for checking in with us this morning. Happy thank Father's you. Day when it comes. Thank you. Thank and we you. hope you enjoy it. And we hope to see more uh, from you. And when you visit next time, please visit us in person. We'd love to meet you. I will, absolutely. Thank you. Filmmaker Jason Foster joining us this morning from New Orleans, Louisiana.